Hello, today we're going to be doing a game as Italy. We're going to be restoring the Roman Empire. We're definitely going to be going for some early wars here. We'll be at war with France by the beginning of 37 at the latest. Let's start with research, three basics, and we're also going to do support weapons one. Remember, early wars, useful. We are only going to build military factories this game, nothing else. With our starting 19, we're going to go up to five on close support. We are not going to produce a light tank. We need... A civilian train, some towed anti-air, and some artillery. Some sort of setup like this will work. The anti-air, because we're not really going to have fighters. Artillery, because artillery is great. We are going to import the one rubber from Siam. And we'll get one chromium from Turkey. Naval production. We are not going to finish either of the early hulls. They kind of suck. We can finish the later hulls, though. And we'll finish the cruisers. And sure, it's a 1936 sub. We'll finish it. We're going to take everyone... We're going to merge it into squad one because that's where I just set everything to automatically deploy. So if you click this button right here, you can just select all of your reserves, press G to merge them up and right click them into one squadron naval. It'll also merge in the submarines. We need these guys to train for a little bit. We need just a little bit of naval experience. I'm going to start with army primacy, extra two military factories. After this, we're going to go down Ethiopian war logistics. So up the army in Ethiopia, we're going to grab six divisions from the north here the guys in the north will be on their own order the guys in the south can be on a field marshal order he will do as a field marshal and we're going to do a little bit of quick grinding we're going to start by grinding this dude because he's actually a better field marshal because he has inflexible strategist and we're going to do a partial grind of ethiopia we're not going to fully grind these generals we don't have time but we do have time to semi grind them a couple of these guys in the north grind against this mountain tile get trickster, mountaineer, infantry leader, and organizer all at the same time. We're also going to commandeer civilian trains. Extra 15 trains will be nice. We only start with 48 and we are not going to put the air up. Okay. And now we're going to pause for a little bit, let them get their org back, keep checking to make sure we don't accidentally get the trait. Okay, and now we stop. And because I'm on speed 5, that nearly got us the trait anyways. So now we cannot attack from three directions. So we'll attack broadly into these three. And for the Navy, we have the experience we need so they can stop training. All we wanted was enough experience to design a 1936 destroyer. That's it. That's all we wanted. We'll put that into production. We cannot get a coastal defense designer, unfortunately. Uh, Italy doesn't start with one. They don't even have any specific... They don't have any. They don't even have the Mediterranean fleet designer that the uh, that the French have. Okay, now we got to make sure we don't get Mountaineer, which means we now come down here and we can grind down here. We're 99% on everything other than Desert Fox. If we were grinding this properly, we would swap these 10 divisions to tanks and then just repeatedly bash our head against this desert until we had a second trait for adaptable. We do not have that luxury. We don't have time. So we're just going to attack here. We're going to get the four traits and then we're going to swap generals to Mr. Giovanni Messi here. Sometime in March, you are going to want to start justifying on Yugoslavia. The state you select does not matter. So we'll just do Dalmatia. What this is going to do, it's going to draw us into a war with Yugoslavia, Romania, and Czechoslovakia, as well as France, but not the Allies. Okay, with Army Primacy done, we'll do Ethiopian War Logistics. We're going to go 4, 3, 3, and then build up to 10. Okay, after Electrical Mechanical Engineering, we'll go to com Mechanical Computing. Support Weapons finishes at the same time Basic Machine Tools does, so we're going to move on to Dispersed 1 and m Improve Machine Tools. And now we will get all of the traits other than Organizer because I did not set him up a front line. And now he has Organizer. You want to go for an early end to this war because you can end up in a situation where they end up last standing on their capital. And that can just be a pain in the butt. Okay, we're just going to take Ethiopia. We're going to swap to Superior Firepower. We're going to stick with the 12 widths and we're going to start training up more divisions. I'm going to want about 50, 55. With our first political power expenditure. In the test run, I went for the war industrialist. I'm actually going to go for the infantry expert. So he is not going to become a field marshal. So we're going to give him infantry expert and improv expert. Doesn't have adaptable, but good enough. Set you guys up on strike force. Don't want any surprise naval invasions from the uh, French. 
What is with the AI and trading with whatever nation you decide to trade with? Like seriously, it's like they're intentionally trying to steal your stuff from you. No one was trading with Iran before I started trading with them. Okay, we are going to commandeer civilian trains again. We'll make 12 more divisions. That'll give us 53. That should be enough. We'll get these guys training a little bit. We need a little bit more army experience. Okay, industrial efforts done. Let us go get the research slot. We don't care about trying for Africa. Okay, the justification is done. We're not going to declare it quite yet. We're going to let these guys train up first. Okay, we now have enough to add artillery to all of our 12 widths. At this point, we're going to scale up our support equipment and then our close air support. Now I'm going to go for the war industrialist. Get those factories built just a little bit sooner. So while we wait, let's set up the air force. Radio, disperse two. Back to setting up the air force. We're going to put 100 on interception over the main part of Italy. And then the other two up in the Alpine region also on intercept. We're going to take the tactical bombers and close air support and put them in southern France. We have another two weeks to declare this war, so we are going to deploy these ahead of time now. We're not going to train anything else. Nine divisions to hold these two tiles, because the Yugoslavians will bash their head against this. And then another general. Sure, we'll use this dude. I actually want to shrink this wall down slightly. Eight should do. And let them reshuffle. Probably should have done this earlier, but I didn't. Alrighty, we are ready to go to war with everyone. So these guys will just hold. We'll take these two provinces, but we'll still keep control of the state. Over here, with our close air support, we are going to push through the south here. We're just going to brute force it. We'll get through eventually. We're now going to do modernize the artillery. We're going to use this research slot to research interwar artillery. We'll get one of these two tiles, just through close air support alone. Really? We got strikes. That seems very unlucky. I didn't get strikes once in my test run. It's quite surprising, actually. It's fine. They don't actually have raid at you, so we should be able to reinforce me in them, and then just keep on pushing. Okay, make sure to pin their divisions. We got a nice little encirclement down here in Nice. Don't need to pin that division anymore. Okay, approved machine tools is done. Let's go for fighter ones. Push them off the port first. That'll get rid of the rest of their divisions. And now we're just going to work on pouring north and taking Lyon. That'll take their only closest supply hub. And they will be completely out of supply. In the east, we're holding just fine. I'm going to cancel this focus. I actually need political power. I need a ton of political power. We should be able to get them out, though. Can you guys take these divisions out? I need you freed up. No, we will do triumph in Africa, actually. Okay, keep pushing north here. And these guys there, make sure they don't escape. Get a nice little encirclement in the north here. Start pushing that in. Okay. He's finally got organizer, so let's give him logistics wizard and recovery rate. We don't actually want to kill these units. We just want to shrink the pocket so that it takes less units to actually hold this. So we got rid of strikes. With Triumph in Africa, we'll be over 50. I didn't have to do this last time I did this. I didn't get strikes once, but... Oh, we didn't actually mean to kill those units. Okay, let's just push this these divisions in so that they're only on the three provinces. We're now going to take everyone that's under the field marshal order and move them out. We need five political power. Okay, let's go take Fishi. Okay, let's make the break for Paris. We might have to stop before we get to Paris, though. Okay, we are going to have to stop before we get Paris, so we'll just encircle it. I need five political power, because when you're at war with a major and you're fascist, it takes you less time 
to justify substantially less time. Getting strikes, which was very unlucky, is messing with us. Okay, five political power. We can now justify on Austria. Okay, nope, they, they want six. Okay, fine, we'll hold for an extra day. With Triumph in Africa done, we will now go on to modernize artillery, and we can justify on Austria. Oh, you also might deal with a bug over here where you're just like not getting supply, even though you have way more supply than is necessary in these provinces. And it makes no sense. There's no rhyme or reason for it. I'm taking attrition in these provinces with five extra supply remaining in both of them. Don't ask me. But our, our justification on Austria has started. We are actually going to wait for that to finish because capitulating France will cause world tension to go up and we don't want it to go over 25% because then the UK might get involved. We don't want the UK guaranteeing anybody. So we're just going to hold with Paris surrounded so that we can walk into it whenever we please. While we wait, we're going to take every spare division on this front line and we're going to move it to Austria. So we just have one division per tile. So that's nine divisions. That should be enough to hold Austria off. We're not going to push through the mountains anyways. We're going to swing around and push up through Graz. We might need to put up the cast though to be able to hold here. Okay, justification is complete. You walk into Paris and we'll declare war on you. We'll walk in from multiple sides. Okay, there goes France. Now you want to be very specific about what you take here because we're trying to reform the Roman Empire. We're going to pass a couple times, just get our score up. We're going to take everything across North Africa. We're going to take all of Syria and Lebanon. We're going to take Corsica and all of mainland France. We have to take all of this directly. Otherwise, if we puppet any of this, we'll have to annex that puppet, which we don't want to do. So that's all of the territory we definitely need, plus this part. Now... We can satellite the rest of it. Don't actually care about garrisoning any of these. Plus, they'll get the base focus tree, which means they'll, they'll get a couple of factories. And during my test run, I ended up with like 34 military factories from subjects. So that's France gone. No war with the Allies. And let's just push. It's a little muddy, but that's fine. Okay, so now supply is fine. Pour an extra... Uh, do we have extra... We have an extra close air support, so let's bring that in. We are struggling a bit because of this mud. Probably should have waited for it. Okay, let's just walk around the mud. There's the Chinese United Front. As long as these guys don't get to 80%, they definitely won't be able to join the Allies. And more importantly, we're not worth the Allies. The Allies shouldn't want them to join anyways. Okay, let's push up to Vienna. Okay, we're finally done radio. Let's start working on the improved infantry equipment one. Okay, can you guys try and push to Innsbruck? And you guys, there's a bit of a hole in the line here. Can you guys push to Salzburg? Okay, there's modernized artillery. Let's go for modernized army. And let's start researching artillery two with the 100% boost. Okay, try and push along to Salzburg, please. And then up in the north, can you push along to wells or whatever that is okay there goes austria we are only going to take tyrol we're not going to take these two done that's all we need from them germany can have the rest we're fine with that which one of my puppets has the most manpower probably molly okay can you give us some garrison support we might just request it from everyone okay that's not much kind of expected a little bit more there i was hoping to not have to use my own men Actually, if I come to Vietnam, Vietnam should have a pretty large population. Us in Cambodia, not too small either. Okay, there we go. That just freed up 100,000 manpower. Okay, you on to Belgrade. You on to Nil, something like that. It's got a question mark in it. Even the game doesn't know how to pronounce it. The victory point in the south and the victory point in the north, we should be good. But we'll push on to that one just in case. Carry on to Romania. Let's see, are they just manning their border? No. Okay, well, there's Yugoslavia. I would like to puppet it all. Get the generic focus trees, but we can't. We need all of these states. Okay, Air Force up. We'll put the tactical bombers in the eastern Balkans. Cast in the north. And we can actually bring up the fighters at this point.
Okay, we can activate this order now. Okay, there's the fighter ones. We will actually put these in production. We're going to have 8, 5, 5, 10, 10, and then probably the next 20 after that into fighter ones. That'll do. Okay, you walk around them to Bucharest. We will get oil out of that. Do a little bit of excavation tech. I'm going to go battlefield support because we're mostly using gas. Let's give everybody a little bit extra supplies. I think that'll help out a little bit. We have too many troops in the north. Not enough in the south here. Don't attack the units that are last standing. Especially not when they're last standing in mountains. Okay, stop executing your order. I will manually do this. Where are you going? I'm pretty certain that guy just teleported. Okay, there goes Romania. Same time as Modernized Army. We are also going to take all of it. We'll move everyone up to the north here. We're getting close to the point where we, we are going to want to justify in Hungary. We are going to build an airport right here. Level 3. Good enough. And we're going to go for air innovations. Let's work on pushing through here. They might last stand this. That's just going to make them take a ton of strength damage. Once you've made a breakthrough here, start justifying on Hungary. Okay, we're going to want to pin these guys in. Just keep going. So we got three divisions there. That's nice. And then tactical bombers we're going to need over Czechoslovakia. Keep moving while we pin, give us some extra supplies. Okay, also going to want to move along the south here. Half you guys north, half you guys south. We've got a large portion of their army here. We don't want them to get out. Okay, clean up this part here. You're holding back too many divisions. Everyone else to the front. No, you do not get to leave. At the very least, by even if we don't get the encirclement, by constantly pinning them... Oh, oh, we, we missed that by an hour. They're never going to be able to reorg, so we can just keep on marching. Okay, we actually finally did get the encirclement there. Uh, we don't need 30 divisions here. 12 should be fine. They're going to have no supply. Okay, on to Prague, please. Uh, no, we're not going to give them that. I mean, we could have. We're going to go to war with them anyways, but... Okay, there goes the checks. We'll pass a couple times. We're going to take the entirety of the east. We're not going to take any part of the Sudetenland. We're going to puppet the Sudetenland, and when Germany comes knocking, we'll just hand it to them. I uh, should have done this a little bit earlier, but we're going to justify on Hungary. It's fine. Uh, we will put we'll put the two main generals on Hungary, just so that we get them like in the first week. The UK is going to guarantee them we want that. That is good for us. We are going to take these 13 divisions and put them in northern France here, just in case the UK tries to navally invade. We'll have a response force. We're going to take 24 divisions, and we're going to put half on the west here and half in the north. We need to control the Middle East because we're going to have to go to war with Iraq. And the UK tends to pull its fleet out of the Mediterranean if it loses the Suez. Not always, but it tends to. Anyways, and now we wait. After air invasions, we're going to go for Albanian occupation. They should just give it to us. Do not form collaboration governments because then you're going to have to annex them. Next use to political power, we're going to go for extensive conscription. I know we're still in partial mode, but manpower is more important. 
After Albanian occupation, we're going to go down to Prospect for Oil. Glorious day. Okay, so that's Albania for free. Let's go get infantry equipment too. Albania was a nice little windfall of infantry equipment, so if you're short, you're not going to have to worry that much. Um, do not keep this division that you get from your check puppet. From your check puppet, it will bug the game out because the division should be deleted when they do demand sedate and land, but it doesn't. It doesn't disappear. It just sits there taking attrition. Okay, we have another 24 divisions almost ready. Okay, justification is ready. We are now ready to go to war with the United Kingdom. I actually forgot to move the Air Force, but that's actually not going to matter. We're going to uh, put some tactical bombers and some casts out over each of these seasons. And we're going to actually split off the subs so he'll get the experience from it. And because we can give him concealment expert. And we're going to set them to convoy raid in these sea zones under the cover of naval strikes. Time to go walk all over Hungary. They will join the allies. I'll bring everyone in. Yada, yada, yada. We don't care. We want to be at war with England. You know why? Because now we get 15 day justifications on all the territory we need. They are really defending that one province. So it's going to delay us a little bit, but it's fine. Why are you still training? How are you still training? Okay, there goes Hungary. Extra 12,000 guns. Very nice. We will send the Blue Army down to Bulgaria. They'll be able to handle that well enough. We'll send Mr. Purple Guy over to Switzerland. Oh, hold on. Two light cruisers and six destroyers right there. And another ten destroyers there. Okay, we're, we're doing a little bit of work, but we're going to draw out the British Navy doing this. They will start to show up. Invite to faction. We will join the Axis. Do not actually invite them into your war, though. For naval doctrine, we are going to go down the center here. Try and get down to capital ship attack. And for land doctrine, we can get integrated support now. Okay, you guys push on to Port Said. We're said. Okay, justification for Sophia is done. We are not quite in position yet. They didn't take Tyrol, so we're good. Okay, we'll declare on them. Justify on the Swiss. We'll wait for us to get a little bit of org over here. Move the Air Force. And then we'll set him to go. Alrighty. Uh, the front line disappeared. Okay, good. No big battles lost. That's what we want to see. As long as we don't lose the fleet, we're good. Okay, let's move on to Cairo. You guys are going to push up to here. Do not invite anybody into this war. You don't need any of them. It's just going to make things messy. Okay, Switzerland. Put up a little bit of close air support here. And we'll put up a little bit of fighters. Just give them a little bit of an air supremacy bonus. Okay, there goes Bulgaria. Am I justifying on right now? Nobody. Okay, let's justify on Greece then. Three dockyards, huh? Okay, so our two battleships finished. Let's put these guys on convoys then. We are losing a couple convoys, so... Let's take U6, bring you over here. We're gonna invade Gibraltar. Uh, sure. Okay, apparently we're at artillery. Pretty surefire way of telling you're out of equipment is when the AI starts sending it to you. Support equipment, we can go down on that a little bit. Okay, we are going to deploy these guys over here. They are going to help with Greece. So with the Greece justification done, let's go justify on Belgium. If we actually focus on where we're going, Here in Switzerland, we will be done by then. Okay, can you just kill this one unit? It's literally one unit. Okay, delete your order. Uh, six, eight, hold here. Everyone else along this order, come over to Iraq. Ten of you might not actually be enough there. Okay, okay, we got some cruisers there. Oh, that's a pretty, that's a pretty nice battle for us. Okay, you launch when you're ready. Okay, go to war with Greece. Okay, there goes Switzerland. Move on to Belgium, and then Luxembourg, and then the Netherlands. We need the entirety of the Low Countries. By taking out the Low Countries like this as well, we are going to get a ton of infantry equipment. Oh, they're not going to be... <laughs> they can't demand the Sedaten land because we're in a faction with them. Kind of funny. Okay, you guys just go for a march to Athens, same as you guys. Belgium time. Let's bring up the Air Force. Fall of Gibraltar, nice to see. So now, whatever they have here is going to be stuck here. We're going to bring these six guys over to Iraq. 
we do not want you sailing that far. Just come to this naval base. We don't want we don't want to give them like twenty opportunities to intercept us. Okay, no, no, go on Antwerp. Okay, we can declare war on you with these four divisions. Start justifying on the Netherlands. Set up the army only on our border. Okay, your front lines broke. That's great. Uh, you guys come set up on Turkey. We only actually need half you guys here. The other half of you come over to Spain. We need Spain to end soonish. There goes Luxembourg. Okay, there's support weapons too. Let's go into engineer companies. Okay, at this point, we are actually out of focuses that are worth doing. Other than maybe bomb effort, you could do bombing effort. But we're going to go on resistance suppression. A little bit more cast, a little bit more fighters. We are working on the fighter too. We might actually be done this war though before we get it. Okay, Greece finally fell. We're now ready for the Netherlands. So let's go on them. And we shall justify on Iraq. Ooh, they are bombing our subs and I didn't realize that. Okay, let's grab our fighters here. And subs, you guys go home. You've done your jobs. And let's avoid that sea zone. Have everything go through Libya. We'll have to build a railway for that to work though. Okay, we're not going to build it like that. We'll build it in sections. Building in sections, you can have multiple factories working on it at the same time. Much faster. Okay, you guys come down here. You're going to help with the Spain front. Oh, they navally invaded behind us because we don't have anything there. Uh, let's spread out the strike force then. But we will grab you guys in the north to come deal with this. And we'll invade Iraq through the south. They'll push north, we'll push south, and then we'll push north like this just to pin them. But because they've spread their units out like this, we'll just be able to walk through them. We'll deal with these guys, then they'll go reinforce. Build a railway through the desert like this. Guess supply in the capital. I'm not justifying on anybody right now. Let's justify in Turkey. Um, we're going to get the Prince of Terror. Should have gotten that a while ago. The close air support guy, the ground support guy isn't bad either. Made a bit of a mountain out of a molehill in Iraq here, but it's fine. Okay, there goes Iraq. We'll take Kuwait just so we don't get hit from behind. Okay, with that done, let's justify on Spain. Okay, you guys turn around. You're going to just garrison this border with Turkey. We don't actually need to capitulate Turkey. We just need to hold the border here. Okay, units are largely in position, so we can declare on Turkey now, and we can start justifying on Portugal, because we have also finished justifying on Spain. They might attack us, they might not, it doesn't really matter. Can you guys just win? Like, the weather has gone there and everything, come on, you should be able to win. I think it's because they're too busy garrisoning their border against me. I really need these guys to capitulate. I'm very surprised they haven't yet. Come on, Germany, you're attacking in the wrong direction. Come on, take Valencia. I only have another month. Who's justifying us? Germany. They're demanding the state land. I mean, they're literally not allowed to, but okay, we'll give it to them. It's fine. It doesn't matter. Um, I'm going to have to declare this war. We are going to just sit here, though, and stare at them. And we'll also declare on Portugal, because why not? Forgot about North Africa. I didn't really forget about North Africa, it just wasn't a problem last time. Let's just set up a defensive line here. It'll do. Actually, no. We'll hold back here. You are going to launch a naval invasion, which I should have already planned so I could do it when I at any point in time, rather than having to wait. We cannot afford a war with the German Reich. They can have it. 
It was the whole point of not taking it. Screw it. We'll declare war on the other side, too. There we go. Good enough. Now we just need to go occupy some territory in Spain. Let this naval invasion go. Okay, it's still just the UK that's a major, which is good. Am I actually going to fail this for once? That would be very surprising. Oh, you guys got convigorated to hell. Seriously. The only reason I didn't lose the division is you can't actually lose a division during a convoy raid. Okay, we'll send you two along, and you two, and assign you, and uh, actually we'll resend you two as well. Put you in convoy escort then. We actually lost a unit there. This is the worst naval invasion I've done in a very long time. Partly because I wasn't really paying attention. Okay, we finally got it a month later, but it's fine. We got it. That's all that matters. You guys can go back to strike force. Actually, no, no, no. Stay on convoy escort temporarily while these guys cross. 29 divisions. That's more than enough. Why wouldn't you go from Dunkirk? What? You're literally standing on a port, so you move to a different port? Makes literally no sense. We have one month, the shortest month. You guys in Spain can actually stop. We don't actually need to capitulate Spain, right? Yep. Still just the UK, that's a major. And we're occupying part of Portugal, so their county is in the war. Okay, you guys go north to Birmingham. You guys keep pushing, keep pushing. Be aggressive as you can. There goes London. If you get notes. Ah, oh, it's not selecting the field marshal. So none of the uh, keyboard shortcuts are working. Liverpool, Manchester, Leeds, Hull. You guys go to Hull from the other direction and up to Newcastle. Take this out, come on. Don't just sit here. We have time constraints. Halt, restart. Halt, restart again, actually. We have more divisions here. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Take Plymouth. You can't take Plymouth. So we are oh so very close. We need Newcastle. And we might need Plymouth. You take that province there. You guys here. You guys unassign. Come down here. Three days. We have three days to get into that province. Okay, that should be enough. 100%. Okay. Now we need to take... Pass a couple times. Take all of Africa. I said Africa and started in Spain. See, if that day had it ticked, any nation that we hadn't capitulated, so like Turkey, for example, could have become a major. It's like the top seven nations by industry, or if you're 50% of one of the existing majors or something like that. You're going to take the entirety of the UK, because I know I need to take some of it, and I don't have the list of what I have to take on me, so we'll just take the entirety of the UK as well. One war with the Allies done, and if we come into our decisions, we can realize Roman ambitions. Boom. Roma Invicta. So is that the fastest way you can do this? No, probably not. Is it consistent, though? Yes, I did this two times in a row, and the only reason I did it faster this time, really, was because I accidentally satellited some states in French Syria last time. So, we now have 207 factories, 242 civilian factories, and basically every resource you could ever need other than rubber. Anyways, thank you for watching this video. By the time this comes out, I don't really have any more videos planned for Hearts of Iron 4. Nothing that I really feel like I want to do. Maybe I'll do a Poland game. Maybe I'll do a Monarchist Poland game or something like that. Anyways, next on the docket, Warhammer 3.